am so late doing a pregnancy update video. Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep following this pregnancy journey because it is getting really close to the end. <laughs> this baby's gonna come when he's gonna wanna come. When he's ready to come. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I understand that I'm really late doing an update. It's been several weeks. I just have so much going on as usual. Um, life is just moving full speed ahead. I am not one of those women who are um, experiencing this third trimester going slowly. It's going really quick. I just feel like it's speeding up every single day. So just to do a little catch up, the last time I updated I was like around I think the last time I updated I was around 30 weeks or so. So 31 weeks I did get registered at my hospital. If you don't have insurance, be prepared for a prepay. I was not expecting that. I thought I was going to pay like the day of delivery. So I don't know, check with your hospital, see what they say. Also check with your hospital and see what they supply during your labor and delivery because that will also help you pack your hospital bag. I will do I will do we'll do a what's in my hospital bag just so you can see what I am bringing for this third baby uh, since I've done it a couple times. <laughs> and the kicks were getting harder. I went from light kicks and trying to record my belly just so you could see like kicks and stuff. Well so I could see it later. And it just, I, I wasn't getting anything to like the next week all of a sudden like blah blah you know just like he's stretching like a starfish and just all kinds of different ways. Hi buddy. I don't stretch all day. Okay hold on we're gonna paint in just a second okay. And I went and started on working on my nursery which is one of the reasons why I've been so busy. We are also building a house. I don't know if you follow me on my other social media platforms, but if you are pretty up to date with my personal life, we're building a house. We've been building a house for quite a while now, and we're just now back around Louisiana enough. You don't draw on that? It's okay. So we're just now really around Louisiana enough to really start get going on it and like financially uh, we've been saving for a long time because we're building out of pocket we're not taking any loans out so that way once we never we do get our house finally finished you know we'll have a paid off debt-free house but that's a completely separate thing but between juggling building a house and getting ready last minute things ready for this baby I've just been kind of going nuts so I started working on the Don't nursery at 31 weeks. So Don't I had a whole it. list of things yeah. for like 31 and 32 weeks Don't because I was planning on it. Day. Yes, baby. Because I was gonna I was gonna do one at 32 weeks. And somehow when my kids were drawing on my phone, it got deleted. So what I can remember around that time. Blue and red. Okay, just yeah. wait, baby. This is only going to take a second if you let me get this done and over with. Okay, go in there with Bubba. I'll be in there in just a second, okay? Okay. <sighs> also, with the holidays, the holidays are not helping anything. Keeping staying busy. So, around 32 weeks, we got to see we got to see the baby again. I saw my doctor and found out that, you know, I was trying to find out if I could travel for the holidays and considering that I delivered my second one at 35 weeks, which we're kind of thinking that they may have had my due date wrong because it changed like four times. I just want it to be prepared. I've been feeling extra pressure and a lot of sciatic nerve pain. I've been really uncomfortable and I realize that's part of being in your third trimester but more I feel more so uncomfortable now than I did with the other two. This one's been completely different anyway but I you know I've been having a lot more nerve sciatic nerve pains in my back and Braxton Hicks and 
of an extra movie. So, um, where was I going with this? I had a point. Oh yeah, for traveling. I just wanted to make sure that I was going to be okay to travel, but apparently I got a no-go for any more traveling and my doctor was recommending bed rest because I am dilated already one to two centimeters when she checked me. Um, but considering I have two little ones, <laughs> that is not really possible. So, <laughs> um, no more traveling for me. I've been extra moody. So then 33 weeks, right? Okay. Okay, so I had a big scare because I was having Braxton Hicks contractions, like the worst Braxton Hicks contractions I have ever felt. And they were so close. To, like I thought I was actually in labor. And it was so scary. We were already up in town and I'm sitting here thinking like I'm only 33 weeks. I can't, there's no way, there's no way. These these can't, these can't be actually actual Brax, you know, actual labor contractions. So we're all like kind of up and alarmed about that for a good 20 minutes. I was actually timing the contractions and everything because they did seem like actual labor contractions. And then the pain went from like moved from my back up into my belly area to more of like a cramp style. But they were the most painful Braxton Hick I have ever experienced. It was awful. So now I am trying to take it even more easy and my husband is taking over laundry. I am, well, as much, as much bed rest serious about it as possible. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That wouldn't have been good if I lost that. Thank you so much. Okay, I've got a couple more things and I'm done, okay? Okay, I found that pin on the couch. Oh, thank you so much, Brantley. Mommy, Aside from like, you know, the Braxton Hicks, I have been so tired, extra Mommy, exhausted. Mommy, um, I don't get paid. Yes, baby. I am finding it more so on my left side, harder to when I'm like going up steps or like, you know, trying to get up a curb or whatever. I am having trouble lifting my left leg more so than my right, but I'm in pain all the time. I'm super uncomfortable. And it's to the point where like when we're grocery shopping and stuff now, like I can't just, I mean, I could send just my husband and you know, he'd probably be cool with that, but like I gotta make sure. <laughs> I gotta make sure everything is got on my list and you know something I forgot on my list because I'm pregnant. Anyways, I would forget. Okay, we're gonna paint in there. Go, go take it in there. Go take it in the living room. When we go to the grocery store, I'm actually not pushing a shopping cart anymore. I'm sitting there riding the little scooters and just kind of <laughs> trying to keep up with everybody because you know there's like. I don't know if you've ever been on one of those scooters. I felt so silly being on one of them. Right now, I, I in fact really do need it because I don't want to encourage labor. I'm actually researching what I could do to keep this baby in there as long as possible since I have never done that. We've always been early, but I've been riding those scooters and there's like two speeds. It's like slower and then slow so then here's like my husband like way up here and I'm like I'm coming like, like putter 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 it's so funny but my hospital bag is all packed now and so is my baby bag so like I said I'll be doing a video on that I didn't actually get to get to doing the maternity Halloween looks that I want it to do video. I will still post that at a later time. I just, I have been so busy trying to juggle everything else and trying to relax and it's just one thing after another. I'm constantly busy. I'll get to it <laughs> one day and maybe I might have to like post it next year because it may be by the time I finish it, maybe too late, but whatever. I'll get it done for sure. But by the time I actually get it posted, I don't know. It'll be up at some point. I'm sorry. My hospital bag video will be up shortly after this one. That's really all that I've got for you right now. Just like a quick little update. Not too much has really changed within the last several weeks except for the fact of my growing belly and how much pain, like my pain and discomfort level is like 
Yeah. It was like way up here, but like now it's like even higher. It's just so uncomfortable to walk and stand. So here is my belly. Mommy, I need to move it. I'm definitely feeling a lot I bigger. I was even told the other day that this woman, she said she was a nurse. And she was like, how much longer do you got? And I was like, oh, not much longer. And I told her, like, you know, 33 weeks. And she was like, well, if you could be resting your hand on your belly, like, how you're doing right now. She was like, he is, your baby is so low, she didn't know if it was a he or she. Um, she was commenting. She was like, yeah, you're not going to last much longer. And I'm like, no, don't say that. Like, <laughs> This baby needs to cook as long as possible because like I like I said in that scare I I was freaking out. I was bawling my eyes out by the time we got home. Like to not have this baby right now. I want a healthy, you know, baby. Like I cannot. It would tear me up. It would tear me up so bad. I would be it would probably put me in a like postpartum depression for sure. Um, having a baby with health problems and not fully developed lungs and I don't even want to think about all that you know so we are praying and crossing our fingers and like I said if you have any kind of suggestions of like what I can do to keep this baby in there as long as possible like send them my way because <laughs> I haven't made it to 40 weeks I made it to 38 with my first one and then 35 with the second one and thank god he was <laughs> okay and he was just really skinny, but other than that, well, and jaundice, but the other one was jaundice. Not that, you know, severe of a problem like NICU baby. I, um, I just want this baby healthy and in there as long as possible. I'm shooting for at least to the new year. I mean, my due date is the 4th, is January 4th, and I would like to make it as close as possible to that, so... I found that out the hard way so I just want to be prepared all aspects this time because I was definitely not prepared for that anyways thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe and keep following this pregnancy journey because it is getting really close to the end <laughs> have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful Thanksgiving and Christmas the holidays the holidays are here Anyways, bye.